Hello. Nice to see all of you again. Today's vlog is coming to you Friday, June 12th. I want to share with you information about current events at MSD, as well as a little bit of history. Before, we spoke about different locations that I filmed at. You know that I am here at MSD, but where am I standing today? It looks like a living room. Do you think this is in my home? Maybe in a hotel? No, no. Today, I am in the girls' dormitory at MSD. The name of this building is Carr Hall. You may be wondering why that name is important. Let me explain. It was named after William Dabney Carr, MSD's first superintendent. He helped found and establish MSD in 1851. Mr. Carr served as the superintendent from 1851 to 1889. He was the MSD superintendent for 38 years. Also, I want to let you know that next to Carr Hall, the girls' dormitory, is the cafeteria. Do you remember our vlog from the cafeteria? It is named McKee Cafeteria. Next to the cafeteria, is the boys' dormitory, named Tate Hall. Those three buildings, girls' dormitory, cafeteria, and boys' dormitory, are all connected. This allows students to socialize in the cafeteria. All of the buildings, girls' dormitory, cafeteria, boys' dormitory, are all named after the first three superintendents at Missouri School for the Deaf. Mr. Carr was the first superintendent, Mr. Tate was the second superintendent, and Mr. McKee was the third superintendent. That's our history portion for your enjoyment. Today, I would like to share a few things with you that are currently happening. First, today is Friday, which marks the end of the first two weeks of extended school year. MSD has two more weeks of ESY, which ends on June 26th, the last Friday of the month. That will be the last day of ESY the school year. Second, I would like to share information with you about the reopening of Missouri School for the Deaf in the fall. MSD has established a committee to discuss reopening after COVID-19. We are taking into consideration our students, our employees, and visitors to ensure social distancing and safety. This means possibly wearing masks. The committee is working on a variety of policies to lay out new procedures. For example, students will no longer have roommates in the dormitories. Each student will have a single room. We are considering moving the middle school girls to the third floor in Carr Hall and the middle school boys to the third floor in Tate Hall. That way, each student can have their own separate room. We are also discussing our lunch procedure. Last year, 
the elementary, middle school, and high school students would gather in the cafeteria to eat and socialize. This year, we may set up different scheduled times for lunch to make sure students are socially distanced. They can still socialize, but at a safe distance. Also, classroom size cannot go above eight students in a single class. Those are the kinds of things that we are discussing for the reopening of school. Again, our desire is for all students and staff to return to MSD in August. Our current school calendar shows August 12th that employees return to work, August 23rd residential students return to campus that Sunday evening, and August 24th is scheduled to be the first day of school. We are very excited and hope that everyone will be able to gather together to reunite and enjoy visiting with one another. The third thing that I would like to remind you is that our school theme for next year is Together We Can. That's all for today. Our next vlog will be Friday, June 26th in two weeks. Take care of yourself.